good day everyone this is damrest photography and today i'm going to be talking about core it, about frequent separation i'm going to talk about cleaning up the skin skin retouching yes we're just going to retouch the skin for this tutorial if you've not subscribed to my tutorial if it's the first time on my tutorial please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share yes so that you'll be able to see more tutorials don't forget to click the notification button so that when i post new videos you'll be able to know okay so first things first as you can see this image i've cropped it i've separated the background from the image i've also separated the image from the background so i've been able to clean up my background in this image if you want to know how to clean up backgrounds you can check my previous tutorials i have tutorials talking on that okay so for this image right now first things first i want to clean up the skin you see we have spots on the skin so first things first i'm going to pick my as you can see i'm working on just the image layer so i'm just going to pick my spot healing brush no not my spot healing pick my healing brush and then i'll just go through my image just going to go through my image you know you hold your hot key pick a a sample close to where you want to clean up and then you just clean over pick a sample close to there yeah just pick a sample close to where you where you're cleaning up pick a sample of a skin close to that place So as you can see before after before after we've not cleaned up the skin nice and clean but at least we've taken it somewhere the remaining parts we are going to work on it through frequent separation the reason why I didn't clean up clean up totally is because if I do it too much it's going to spoil the texture of the skin so the remaining parts we're going to work on that using frequent separation but for now this is okay so what I'm going to do next normally I could just make a stamp layer out of this but first of all i want to sharpen this my image a bit to get give it a bit of clarity and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create click on ctrl j make a copy of this layer go to filter go to order go to high pass go to high pass then i'm going to give it an high pass of probably let's say four okay i'll change this to be soft light so you can see now I have a sharper image before, after, before, after. You can see now I have a sharper image uh, before, after, before, after. Let's work on that more. Let's go back to the before the high pass. Let's go to high pass. Or that high pass. Let's increase that high pass to let's say six. Okay. I change that to soft light. Why I like soft light is because soft light doesn't it doesn't change the skin drastically. You get what I'm trying to say? Before, after, before, after. You see how much we sharpen the skin without changing the the colors, without changing anything you get. So that's good. So I can just clip that, create a clipping marks, I clip that with one beneath it, and then I match those stamp marks together. So now I'm going to make a stamp layer, and to make a stamp layer. It is Ctrl Alt Shift, Ctrl Alt Shift E. What a stamp layer means is that you are making a margin of all your layers under it, but without deleting those layers. So you can see this is the stamp layer. I off all your layer, but there is no change because I've merged all your layers beneath that stamp layer together, but I didn't delete them. You get what I'm trying to say? So I put all of those ones into one folder. And then I name that BG, which is background. So for this one, I make I click on Ctrl J. I name the one below it low. I name the one below in, on top of it high. What we're trying to do now is frequency separation. Frequency separation is a technique to smoothen your skin to give it smooth, um, better textures 
and also contour the skin. You can use frequency separation to contour the skin. You can use frequency separation to uh, what they call it to just clean up the skin. You get so to smoothen the skin. So that's what we're trying to do now. So putting both of them into one folder and then I name that FX. For me, what I use frequency separation mostly to do is to blend the shadows and and the highlights and shadows together. The meet the points between highlights and shadows. I use the frequency separation to blend them together so that we have smoother transitions. You get so I just open my um, frequency separation layer. I off the high layer. I on the low layer. I increase this one just to be able to see the textures. I move to the place where I'm having more more rougher edges which is around here yeah this is more of so i go to filter i go to blur i go to gaussian blur and then first of all i give it blur of one one thing you want to make sure what you want what you want to do while you are applying your radius is that make sure you don't blow out the uh, what they call the uh, what they call the the curves of the face all these contours make sure you don't blow them out you get you are trying to blow out this texture but you are not trying to blow out all the contours you are not trying to blow out the contours so you do it gradually two is not sharp enough i i use four before after before after let me try three before after before after okay let me try five mm. before after before after mm. Is five enough? Is five okay? Let me try four before after. I don't want it too much. I don't want to apply it too much. I want my I want to clean up my skin, but still I want textures to be there. So that's why I'm being careful of this. You get so for this image, I'm thinking five is enough. Let me just use five. That's okay. Then I go to the high layer. I on that. I go to image. I go to apply. Go to image i go to apply i go to layer i go to i i change that layer to low to low layer i change the blend mode to subtract then you make sure your opacity is at 100 you make sure your scale is at two and then your offset is at one two eight then you change your blend mode to linear light so now you go back to your lower layer now this is where the frequency separation begins so when you are applying frequency separation you make sure make sure go to your mixer brush tool and then you make sure your wet is at 15 you can move from 15 to 25 you can toggle around that for your wet make sure your load is a 30 make sure your max is a 30 your mix is at 30 and make sure your flow is at 30 so for me i'm using a wet of 15 i think that's okay for me Another thing I do while I'm applying frequency separation is I make a selection of just the subject. The reason why is so that I don't go outside, I don't paint outside the image while I'm applying my frequency separation. It doesn't matter, you get just for me, that's what I just like. So I just click on this, I've made a selection of that image again. So I just go through the image, I'm going to start painting from light to shadows so that I will blend. The image and I'll blend those uh, what they call those transitions while also smoothening the skin. Make sure that what they call it. Make sure you're careful while you're blending while you're while you're applying your frequency separation so you don't so you don't spoil the textures you get I'm um, so that you don't spoil the contour of the face. Frequency separation is able to while you're applying frequency separation you can use the bro the uh, mixer brush tool. To also contour the skin and to also contour the face of your of your subject, so you should be careful about that. Contour it the way you want to contour it, and if it is not necessary, try to keep the contours of the face of the uh, of the person's face. You get, and like I said, I'm just blending from light to shadows. I'm just blending from light to shadows while also trying to clean up. The skin you get.
as you can see look at our skin look at our skin look at the face the skin of the face before after before after you can see we've contoured give it giving it a better contour and just by blending the the shadows to the highlights just by blending the shadows to the highlights you can see around here just by blending shadows to the highlights we've been able to give this image a better contouring you get what i'm trying to say so we just have to do that for for uh, what they call the neck area i just love what they call i love uh what they call frequent separation seriously after frequent separation if it's not a beauty retouch you really don't need to do dodge and burn you get but if it's a beauty retouch yes you should do dodge and burn to enhance everything you've done you get what i'm trying to say so for this image here i'm going to show you how to do dodge, dodge and burn yeah i'm also going to show you how to do dodge and burn okay so like i said we are just blending lights from light to shadows from light to shadows from light to shadows just don't spoil the whole thing before after before after so one thing first we need to do the skin to have the lips too yeah we just have to smooth in the, 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 the lips too you get so it won't look too harsh Same thing you do that to the lips too. Just make sure it's not too harsh. And because you see that there are two different colors there, you have to be careful. You get so we have before, after, before, after. Another thing you do is clean up. Like I told you, all those clean up that you didn't do before, what you, you do them here. So we we'll go to the high layer, we we'll go to close down. Make sure your opacity is at 100. Make sure your flow is at 15. I would advise you not to zoom in too much, except if you are doing for working for a magazine and you want to do a very, 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 very detailed job. You get, but if you're not doing something very, very detailed, don't zoom in too much. You get, and then you just clean up, hold the hot key and clean up. Let me change my stuff to the hard round brush. Mm -hmm, yeah. For the clone stamp, it's better I use a hard round brush. For you can use the soft round brush when you are brushing. When you are using the brush tool. But when you are using the clone stamp, it's better I use the hard round brush so you can pick what you selected and apply it effectively okay so i'm just going through the image and seeing where we have imperfections and trying to clean them out we get Okay, so we have that for frequent separation before, after, before, after. Seriously, we could just leave our image like this and it's all good, you get? It's all good. But then again, I would just like to, I would like to just, I like to smoothen out everything, like make it perfect, you get? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, you take my lasso tool and then make sure I'm on the low layer and then I'm just going to just, Make a lasso around the face. Make a selection around the face. Oh, that was a mistake. Let's make the selection around the face like this. Okay. Then I'll go to filter. I'll go to blow. Gaussian blow. Normally, the, I will tell you that this thing is depending on the skin you are applying this stuff on. For some people, you can you can for your if some images you can decide to multiply these ranges by three. You can see how this is now. You see how smooth this image looks now. 
Oh, okay. See how smooth this image is right now. So, like, this is lovely. Like, really, really good. But there are some people that clients. There are some people that don't like the skin being as smooth as this. They tell you that it's not natural. Like, it's too smooth. You get. So, the, you have to know the type of client you are. You are, you, are, you are talking to you get so some people they really don't like it too smooth so for those kind of clients i really don't apply too much i go around let's say like 10 i multiply it by two instead of multiplying by three you get what i'm trying to say i multiply by two and i just click on okay for that like i told you it depends on who you are attending to you get depending on who you are attending to there are those that like it the way it is there are those that don't like it that way so you do that for the rest of the face too. So next, we are going to do it for the middle of the nose. But for the middle of the nose, I don't apply the same Gaussian blow I applied to the rest of the face. I reduce it. So since I use 10 for every other part of the face, I reduce it by 2 and then I apply it on the nose. The reason why I do that is so that I don't lose out on the highlights now in the middle of the nose the same um the same value i use for the nose that is what i'm going to use for around here i'm going to use for around here i'm going to use it for the eyebrow and i also use it for the lips Then I work with the rest of the um, of the um, body. You really don't need to do this too if you don't want to. You get it's okay the way it is, but if you feel like it, you could just do it. You get what I'm saying? If you have a fast job, you don't really need to do this. But if you don't have, if you want to take more time on the image, you could just do it. You get. So I'm just trying to move around the skin. Just trying to move around the skin. So that's all for frequency separation. And what we're going to be doing next is dodge and burn. As you can see, frequency separation before, after, before, after. See where we've taken our image from to before, after. So this is frequency separation. So next is dodge and burn. So for dodge and burn, we just have to pick two curves, make one curve and name that and take it down. Name more curves and take it down a bit, not too much. And then we we'll click on Control I to invert that and name that burn or B. And then you make another curves, take that up to, like I said, not too much. Make sure there's around the same one for the dodge. So around here, control I and name that dodge. So dodge is to brighten, burn is to darken. Put those two in tool one folder and name that DB, which is dodge and burn. Then open that now. Click pick your brush tool. Make sure your opacity is at 100 and your flow is at 5. I have some people that make their flow at 100 and then manipulate the opacity. Probably make the flow at 100 and then make the opacity, let's say, 10%. 10%. The reason why they do that is so that the whole thing will be equal. You get that means no matter how much I move my brush, I'm going to be applying the same amount everywhere you get what i'm trying to say so if you're not confident with how much you can that's if you are not confident with the intensity of using flow you might just use this um, what they call you probably just use the uh, what they call opacity method make the flow 100 and then manipulate your flow you can try five percent if it's not enough you can increase it like that so let's try five percent and ten percent and see how it is mm, make sure my I'm on a white brush. 
have to be on a white brush for it to work so first of all I'll just dodge this part off I'm just going to burn this part of the eyes so before after before after okay I think that's not really enough so I'll go back increase it to like 15 15 let's see then let's try it again so before after before after I think that's good so I'm just going to do that with the remaining part of do it for here too So what I do with my dodge and burn is that I just try to highlight those parts that need to be highlighted and then dodge those parts that need to be dodged, not all part of the skin you get. As you can see, I'm working with this part of the eyes, I'm dodging, I'm burning those parts. Then I also just burn this part of the face too. That is where the contour is. I'm trying to bring out that contour, highlight that contour, as make it pop out. Also do this with the underneath part of, oh, go back. Then do that with under here. So going to do it with under here, around here like this, around here like this. Yeah. I'm also going to burn, dodge this part. I'm going to dodge this part. I'm also going to do that for around here. Yeah. I'm also going to do it for around here. Yeah. So I'm meant to do it for around here too. So like that. Also around here. Mm -hmm. Around like that. So I'm just highlighting it where the dodge, where, where also the middle of the nose. For this part, I'm going to burn around here. What I'm trying to do right now is just you get I'm going to clean up that part there. Mm, I need to clean up that dodge part there. Then we take the opacity to 100 first and clean it up there. Okay, good. I'll take it back to 15. Make sure my stuff is up. Then I just want to see, just bring out the contour of the nose around here. And then do that around there. Okay, so you can see before, after, before, after. Another thing we're going to do is here too. Just going to hide dodge this part I'm going to dodge the middle of the for me I'm just trying out this right normally I use the flow method that's the method of having my flow at uh, one piece uh, at five percent because I, I actually can gauge it and sometimes I like, want some places to be more points I, I want some place to be dodged more I want some place to be burnt more you get so we have that also go burn i'm going to dodge this middle part of the lips do that here too also going to dodge this part hope i've done the middle part of the nose so before after before after like i said also with dodge and burn you could use it to contour the face you get with dodge and burn you could use it to contour the face so i think i'm going to also dodge this part a bit you could use dodge and burn to contour the face you get so you have to be careful with it you can use it to contour the face too so you just have to be careful with it so before after before after so you just also need to dodge burn this part you meant to burn this part because this part has lost its texture this part too this part like this yes like that for after nice so we'll just go through the skin to do that to the skin 
just highlight the parts that need to be highlighted and then just burn the parts that need to be burned you get just to give your image detail you get contouring so i think that's okay for this image before after before after so the final touch for skin retouching is just adding the whitening you just have to just whiten the eyes normally i also bring out i make sure okay one thing i'll do again is i'll go to layers new layer i make sure i click on soft light click on fill with 50 percent neutral gray color and then make sure my flu is at 100 and my past 100 and my flu is at one and then i just bring out this eyes i bring out the eyes make sure my brush is at white first and i paint over the middle of the eyes this i just want to bring out the detail in the eyes you get i'm also going to do that for the middle part of the eyes i mean for the underneath and then the middle part of the eyes then i do that for the other parts too go here go to the middle and then go to the middle dodge that bond that one also i do this also i still take my black brush and then dodge this place too again that is the eyes so I'm just trying to bring out details, you get, I'm just trying to bring out details on my eyes. Just trying to like, let it catch your attention, you get, let it be the main focus, let it be the main focus, you get. So, that's it. Before, after, before, after, before, after, you get. So, last but not the least, we'll just go to eyes whitening open that open that and then go to photo filter change the fill to 70 you could leave it at 100 if it's not too much but i find that 100 is really too much for me so i just paint over i just make sure my fill is at 70 and then i paint over the eyes this is eye whitening i'm trying to whiten the eyes Trying to just whiten the eyes. So just use the blacks to clean up outside the white. So you use the whites to paint and then use the black to clean up where you've over painted. You do that for here too. So that's all we have our before, after, before, after, before, after. You see how far we've gone? Before, after, before, after, before, after. This is just what face skin retouching can do to your image. So if you like this tutorial, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to share. I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day, guys.